What's up guys? This is Keith with Cyber and You. Uh, we're back with another video to follow on the uh, tutorial on creating your first EC2 instance, specifically a Windows Server EC2 instance. This is how to attach EBS volumes to an existing um, EC2 instance for Windows. Um, if you're not familiar with what EBS is, it's uh, Amazon Elastic Block Store. It provides persistent block storage volumes for use with your Amazon EC2 instances. Um, so it offers a lot of high availability and durability. So we'll go ahead and jump right in. Uh, first things first, we are already logged into our AWS Management Console and we went to the EC2 da uh, dashboard and here we are. We're gonna, gonna go ahead and hit running instances. We're gonna select our little test window server we created. Um, just to show you guys here. So here we go, block devices. All we have attached currently is that root uh, block device that's acting as our root partition or our uh, MBR, I guess, for Windows. Um, so dev SDA1. So what we wanna do is we wanna hit um, Elastic Block Store over here on the left and hit volumes and we wanna create a new volume. Now for uh, purposes, of, purposes of this video, we're just gonna go ahead and use the default general purpose SSD. There are a variety of options here um, for both SSD and uh, HDD, and they all offer different throughput, different storage capacity, and uh, completely different cost structure. So um, if you are interested in, in learning the different types of uh, um, SSD and hard drive options, you can simply click the link in the video description and uh, there's some academic uh, research there for you. So uh, again, we'll just select the default general purpose SSD. And uh, we're using free tier just to uh, make these tutorials. So I think they only allot us about 30 gigs um, before we start getting charged. So we're just gonna do 15 just to show you guys. And now remember, I said the availability zone um, was uh, US West 2B. If you do not put your new EBS volume um, in the corresponding availability zone, um, your EC2 instance will not be able to attach or utilize uh, this newly created volume, this EBS volume. So just make sure that the availability zones match. So we'll go ahead and hit select US West B 2B. Um, we're not gonna mess with Snapchat ID. Um, we will have future videos on, on discussing incremental backups and how snapshots work within Amazon Web Services. So um, generally it's a good idea to use encryption um, depending on what your, your usage is, but we're not gonna do that right now. Um, if you wanna add a tag, do name. And uh, I don't know. You want to keep it consistent with the name of your instance and just add something like a suffix at the bottom, the, the end. We'll do cyber new test Windows Server uh, data. A little long, but that'll do. All right, um, we have the general gist of what we need here. Go ahead and hit create. All right, hit that volume ID. All right, this is what we just created. If I can expand this, there we go. Cyber new test one, Windows Server data. Um, it's available and ready for use. What we're gonna do is we're gonna select that. We're gonna go to actions. We're gonna attach volume. And then we're gonna locate our instance. And if you're obviously running more than one instance, you may have to search for it by, uh, by tag or instance ID. So we're gonna go ahead and select this, our Windows Server test instance. Now, uh, important note here for uh, device mapping, for Windows, AWS utilizes XVDF through XVDP. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and utilize their default. We're gonna hit attach. I'm gonna let that go in there. We're gonna go over to instances, just to show you guys from an instance detail point of view. Uh, as you can see, 
It's already listed here. I think it's still in the process of attaching, but uh, XVDF is available. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and connect to this EC2 Windows Server instance and um, utilize Disk Manager to present this 15 gig volume um, to the file system and uh, create a partition out of that. So we're gonna hit connect. Make sure I got my password. No, I don't, I'm all right. Where is that? All right, there's my, there's my PEM. I'm gonna grab this password after I hit decrypt. I'm gonna download that remote desktop file. I'm gonna open it. Whoops, open it up on the other screen. There, <laughs> keeps opening on the other side. All right, I'm gonna paste my password into there. Gonna let it configure the remote session. And I'm already in. All right, so what we can do now is uh, we have this new EBS volume attached to this Windows Server instance. Um, and we wanna use it on this uh, file system. Any minute now. All right, so uh, you can simply just search um, Disk Manager. A little laggy here. Maybe. There we go, you can just do that. Or you can go through uh, admin server tools and do it that way. All right, so we've got disk management open here. So here's our EBS volume that we just attached, 15 gig. So uh, we want to turn this on. It's offline right now, so we're gonna right click online. And it says it's not initialized. So we want to initialize this volume so we can utilize it. Oh, sorry, initialize disk. Go ahead and leave the default. It's fine. All right. It's already done, it's initialized, it's online. We're gonna hit new simple volume. And then we're basically just gonna walk through this new simple volume wizard. All right, yep, that's fine. Uh, you can change this to whatever drive letter you want. Uh, D is fine for, for us, for the sake of this uh, this tutorial. Gonna hit next. Um, depending on what, uh, what you're utilizing the Windows EC2 instance for, um, you can change that, but uh, NTFS for modern Windows server is ideal and makes sense. I'm gonna leave it as a default. You can change this to whatever. We're gonna put, we're gonna, I don't know, type in software. And we can leave it at perform a quick format. Um, unless you're absolutely starving um, for, for space, there's no reason to really check mark this. Um, unless you're utilizing your server for some kind of commercial purpose and doing a lot of data ingest and storage, um, then maybe that makes sense to to save some storage um, space, but we're just gonna hit next. All right, gives us a little quick summary of what we did. We're gonna hit finish. And just like that, software, drive letter D, it's uh, NTFS, capacity is 15 gigs. 100% free. All right, guys, um, that is how you attach an elastic block store volume to an existing Windows EC2 instance. Um, if you guys have any questions or any uh, suggestions, please leave a comment below the video. Also, uh, check the description for any related links. Um, like or subscribe. We have plenty of uh, other tutorials that we've already made that are on the horizon, gameplay, um, podcasts, 
unboxings, hardware reviews, you name it. Um, go ahead and hit subscribe. Um, you won't regret it. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.